Hello everybody, today we're gonna take a glove and turn it into a slide glove, as well as make a puck for your slide glove. So let's go ahead and get started. The tools you will need are a pair of gloves, cheaper the better, you're probably gonna blow through these pretty fast. Just make sure it's something that you're comfortable with and you actually kinda like. Uh, you will need Velcro, you're only going to need the fuzzy side and not the other side. A pair of scissors, preferably non-stick scissors. This stuff, it's just not fun if it sticks to it. Uh, liquid stitch, we're going to add this to the adhesive because the 3M adhesive on the Velcro doesn't tend to stick very well when you're making slide gloves. Over time it'll wear down, so you'll need liquid stitch. You may need a permanent marker if you want to draw out a certain shape or something. Um, just a little extra. Something else you're gonna need is something super heavy. Uh, you can use books or anything, but whenever you're done gluing it onto it, you're going to want to set your weight on top of it and leave that probably overnight or for a few hours just so that it stays bonded to the glove. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I have already done this glove and we're gonna end up doing this glove. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and cut yourself a piece off of the Velcro. And then if needed, you can take your permanent marker and kind of draw where you know it will fit. Me, I already know that it's gonna fit pretty well if I just cut the corners off it. So basically I just wanna get it to length. I know it needs to be about that big and I'm around the edges. Bam. And we got that, stick it right on there. Before we do, we're gonna to wanna to put the liquid stitch of this. Let's go ahead and peel this off. So right there. Try to get it not stuck to my fingers. Your main concern is going to be the outer edges, not so much the middle area. It's good to get it all though. Now, let's go ahead and stick that to our glove. It's totally okay if that starts squirting out the edges. That's why we're going to use the book, put some weight on it. and stuck. Come back to this in a few hours. Let's start on making a puck. In order to make your puck, you will need Velcro. This time you're going to use the non-fuzzy side. You'll need a pair of scissors, preferably again non-stick. You will need a permanent marker, at least it's going to help. Um, you really don't need it, but it'll help. A uh, piece of cutting board. Any cutting board will honestly do. Um, an, and then a puck that you like. So if you like the shape of a certain puck, then go ahead and grab your puck, place it on, and trace it. If you have a certain other shape that you may like, you could go ahead and just draw that on there, and then we're gonna cut it out with a bandsaw. Um, another good way to maybe do it I stick your glove up next to it or see how big your palm is and kind of get a good estimate of how big your palm is and then draw yourself a circle that's pretty close to your palm size. I think regular standard pucks are pretty good so there's no point in really changing the shape um, but you might want a smaller one or maybe you've got bigger hands so you want to make yourself you know a larger puck than this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just place this puck on there and then trace around it. I'm 
can see my lines. I'm gonna go over to the bandsaw and cut that out. Now we're going to smooth out those edges. Now that we have our puck all sanded down, making sure there's just no sharp edges, we are going to use the non-sticky side of the Velcro and stick it to the back. After we stick it to the back, we're going to use our non-stick scissors and cut around it. So let's go ahead and do that. Once it's secured on there, we're going to go ahead and cut around it. And now we have ourselves a puck. And we're gonna take our puck, get our glove that has been sitting. I've already took a look at this earlier. The liquid stitch holds very well. It just makes it so that, you know, when the sticky part gets, it doesn't back all the way off. So I wish I would've got the edges a little bit better, but it's all right, it's gonna hold on makes it so I don't actually have to stitch it. I'm not a fan of having to do that. Let's put our puck on. Boom, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and test this a couple times, just to, just to go ahead and show you that, how well this liquid stitch holds. Let's stick it on there real good again, rip it off. Uh, so you can all see that, but I mean, it's, it's on there. It's still held on there very well, to be quite honest. So that is how you make a slide puck and a slide glove. As a little bonus, what you can do to your puck is you can add a flint rod. This is a magnesium rod. This is 80 millimeters long by eight millimeters around, and it pretty much fits a 5 8 drill bit perfectly. What you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and drill out as many holes as you'd like for each one of your flints to fit in. As an example, I have four flints in this puck. So I would drill out four holes to the right depth, that's why we have the tape here. So we've measured the depth and made sure that we only go just as deep as we need to. And we put our four holes, four holes are done. Then we can go ahead and measure out how long we need our magnesium rod, strike it here, cut it, measure it again, strike it, cut it, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, until we have enough pieces to fill this up with. Once we have all our little magnesium pieces, we can then take our hammer and the smaller pieces of this and hammer them into the puck. If that is too much trouble for you to do, you can use a drill bit that is bigger than the magnesium rod. And then once you have put the holes in there, use some epoxy, fill those holes with epoxy, not too much because you don't want it to overflow, and then go ahead and press in each of your magnesium rod pieces. So multiple ways you can put those into your puck, but I don't know. It's pretty cool and it makes uh, sliding just a little more fun than it already is. So.
and subscribe.